I think that um, playing a game well and uh, playing it correctly uh, are, are actually two different things. Um, so uh, this notion that there is a right way to play a game, um, which you know, you've, you've sort of articulated as um, you know, gamers want to know the rules, they want to know the objectives, they want to know how the system works, and they want to go. Right. That's a that's a, a particular way. It's a particular way of, of framing games. Some people enjoy that kind of clarity, and and I think you know it's been very powerful in in, in things like first person shooters, for example. Um, it's not as clear that say um, someone who wanted to play a simulation game um, like a Sim City um, feels that way, because part of the pleasure of a Sim City would be to test and tweak and iterate and figure out how that system works best. Not to be told how the system works, but to um, use their own creativity to figure out how the system works. And I think that then you could even go further over on, on, uh, on this kind of spectrum of clarity and say that, um, you know, in some experien experiential, reflective games, that the notion of playing well is to have had an experience that was meaningful to oneself and that it isn't anything about whether the game state um, can recognize what you've done, but rather um, more like reading a piece of literature or you know, engaging with a piece of art, um, that you have had an experience that you could not have had otherwise. And for me, that's a very interesting way of defining playing well. I, I'm highly influenced by Bernie de Coven, um, who talks about the well-played game. And you know, Bernie's notion of the well-played game is um, really one in which all the players have had a wonderful experience. And it, has, it really has very little to do with wh who won.